welcome to the inaugural Gulf of Mexico Fisher Symposium here in the beautiful Trainwinds Resort and Hotel in St. Pete. I want to thank everybody for taking the time to come here this weekend and to share what is truly a unique but very worthwhile event. The Gulf of Mexico is a very special region that is vital to the overall environmental and economic health of not only North America but also the Caribbean. From the rich coral reefs of the Flower Garden Banks to the whale shark aggregations of the Yucatan to the blue tuna spawning grounds, the Gulf hosts a vast and eclectic array of marine wildlife. However, there are increasing stresses on the sea ecosystem that threaten the long term stability of the Gulf and its sea life, including nutrient runoff, commercial overfishing, and most notably, the Deepwater Horizon disaster just to name a few. It is our hope that this symposium will help determine the impact of these stresses on the health of the Gulf fisheries, current management practices tested and failures, and plans for future resource management. Although I have supported many conservation groups throughout my professional career, I have formally partnered with the Nova Southeastern University's Oceanographic Centre in 1997 to focus more energy and funding towards conservation of large Atlantic fish. This has been a very successful endeavor and under the direction of Dr. Mahmoud Shivji, the Gaia Hobby Research Institute continues to provide leading scientific data in the effort to, convert, to conserve sharks, my favorite billfish, and tunas. In 2008, we extended our research and education capabilities by founding the Gaia Hobby Ocean Foundation GHOF has allowed us to collaborate with new researchers and conduct research outside of the GHRI expertise. The new foundation has also given us the capabilities to educate younger generations about the impacts on the marine environment and what they can do to help conserve marine wildlife. But the true benefit of the foundation came to fruition in the aftermath of the Deepwater Horizon oil spill in April 2010. Following this event, I quickly reached out to my good friend Bill Shedd, who is the President and CEO of ATCO, to hear his thoughts and brainstorm about what we could do to help. We had so many calls from people uh, all over the country, some of them geographically far removed from the Gulf. How can we help? So, based on two specifically designed Gulf of Mexico themed t shirts, we, we uh, planned that net proceeds would benefit research into the oil's impact on fishing the Gulf. The response to what we call the Save Our Gulf campaign was overwhelming. In only a few short weeks, four in fact, we sold 50,000 t-shirts and raised over $500,000 for Gulf Fisher Research Work. Four weeks, that was. I continue to be very proud of the guy the fan base and their desire to help the marine ecosystem that we so did, that we also benefited from. And uh, I want to thank Bill again when I'm on the topic for his part in this, and I also want to thank all the retailers, particularly those in Florida, and particularly Bell's department stores, that made a huge impact in the fundraising effort. Without their help, it would have been as hard as good as it really was. Thank you, Bell's. Once the Save Our Gulf fundraising program was finished, the next step was to seek out the current researchers working on Gulf Fisheries projects. One of our biggest concerns was that the spill took place in the region and during the time when the bluefin tuna generally spawned. As you're well aware, bluefin tuna are one of the most economically important fish in the sea and have been overfished for at least the last two decades. This makes fish spawning in the Gulf now even more important to the survival of these ocean giants. We reached out to a number of researchers, including Jim Franks from the University of Southern Mississippi. We we reached out to Dr. Michael Hythaus from Florida International University, to Dean Grubbs from FSU, to Bob Huter from Moat Marine Lab, and George Burgess from the Florida Museum of Natural History, to Dave Kerstetter from Nova Southeastern, to Dr. Lee Human from the University of Texas, to John Paul from the University of South Florida. All these individuals are here this weekend and will be sharing their results on this point. We're also able to fund several educational initiatives, including scholarships for students studying fisheries in the Gulf, and 
and a statewide art contest to engage young students in acting more responsibly with regards to our green ecosystem. I am proud to say that the Save Our Health initiative was a tremendous success and we will be seeing the results of this program over the next couple of days. The Foundation and AFRO are also pleased to support the Rigs to Reef initiative of the Department of the Interior that aims to leave decommissioned oil platforms standing with artificial reefs and attract and attractions and provide habitat for a number of diverse species. Not only does this provide increased diving and fishing opportunities in the region, but removing rigs poses a greater environmental hazard and destroys a huge amount of established fish habitat. Another major objective of the Foundation is to raise awareness of the drastic decline in shark populations globally and to push for increased protection on local, national and global levels. 